guys, this is HG Design here, and I'm going to make a quick tutorial in Cinema 4D for you guys. And it's on how to make a sphere like this, kind of 3D abstract sphere. So I'll go ahead and open up Cinema 4D. And let that load. And once you're in Cinema 4D, come up here to this little cube, hold down and click sphere. So for these settings here, it's up to you really. I'm going to make it 330 segments, and I cast a heat drop. So you can change them around yourself and after that you select your sphere like so and you come up here to the left and select right here this option and you wouldn't notice any difference and after that you come down here and you click this one down here. As you can see this makes a sphere with a blue outline of the segments. So one with with that option is done, you come up here to selection, lobe selection, edit, select all. Now this gives an orange tint to the whole sphere and if you drag your mouse over it, it should highlight some of them. So what you want to do is put your mouse over it anywhere on the sphere and right click and click extrude. So on the bottom right here you should get a couple of options. Make sure that preserve groups is unchecked, that's the most important part of this. And for offset we're going to use 50 and you can see it just pushes the segments out and variation we'll use 80 yeah so you can see this makes kind of tree abstract sphere and now all you have to do is really add in your own materials so double click the materials palette double click the new material that comes up color we're going to use red again we use a brighter red this time and like everyone uses on youtube reflection we set to 50 and gradient so now all you have to do then is drag it onto your sphere and as you can see it makes it red via test render this should take a moment out there you go as you can see you can probably change the offset and variation to make it look better you can see it kind of adds a awkward shadow here we'll just move it down maybe try and get rid of that as you can see it's just a bit odd i think i actually have render settings to change that so i'm just going to render it out and show you what it looks like at the end guys so Cinema 40 has just finished rendering my sphere and this is what it's come up with. So we'll just go ahead and open it up in Windows Previewer and as you see this is the sphere and it looks pretty good. You can use it in your YouTube layout or in a desktop background or whatever really. It works in several different ways and it just makes a nice effect of the sphere and will give you a variation of things you can do. So if you like this tutorial guys make sure you click like and leave a comment and be sure to subscribe for more tutorials and speedruns.